Happy 2020. We're going to talk about intentional living this year. I'm so excited. Brought the year in nice and quiet. Very intentionally so. So I could hear all these things processing in this head. I was very specifically trying to hear what was happening inside. Bringing the new year in. No longer trying to find as many distractions as I can to distract myself from what it is that I hear inside. So that intentional living, what would that look like for you? Would that look like just paying a little bit more attention to your every single day life? The things that come up, the things that surface. What if we didn't rush, 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 push, 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 have our agendas, have what we think we know we want and have things or, or want things to manifest in the way that we want them to. That's the thing I think really screws us up. Actually, I found that last year a lot. Is it, we have these expectations. Yeah, the expectations mess with us. So these expectations lead us to think that we want something and then we're supposed to get it in a particular way. So the delivery is going to look like this. So we're expecting the delivery to look like this, but it comes over here and we don't recognize it as a delivery from spirit because it doesn't look like this so what I've learned is to be very flexible with spirits delivery in the manifestations and in the dreams and desires it is that we are putting out there because when we are flexible with spirit and allow spirit to uh, really just work our circumstances and we stop uh, resisting uh, like I said what we think the answer is because that's the thing is we think we think it's such a problem I know I still have that problem but this intentional living in 2020 running into this and just doing things differently what would your life look differently how would your life look differently this year for me I spent some time thinking about this last year and the things that I've done to myself and things that I've told myself and the things that I've experienced and all the good, the bad, the ugly, the lessons, all of them. And I have watched myself grow so much. But one thing that I realized that I really did this last year is I'm such a runner. I'm a big runner. And I think a lot of us are runners in many ways, but damn, I'm a runner. Um, one of my sisters and I were talking about, um, I was talking about not dating, having not like really intentionally dated this year to quietly listen to myself. But what I realized is I had moved so many times in the last two solid years that I've been running like nobody's business. So I guess my thing's not necessarily dating different guys. It's, it's running. So I move, I move when I don't like something, I move, I move, I move. So exposed illusion gone Andrea moves when she doesn't like something but here's the thing is that spirit exposed me to what it is that I was doing the pattern it is that I was having and um, just to make myself realize hey that's not something we're gonna do anymore so my intentional living for 2020 is I'm actually moving into a new space next week I'm so excited and I signed a year lease so I'm actually gonna be somewhere for one year so that's exciting for me and I'm gonna be in a space where I can spread out and we're gonna have some land and um, just place a place really for my dreams to manifest and for me to feel like I'm at home. And I don't think that I've really felt um, at home, like home home for me in the last while. So I'm looking forward to intentionally living from my heart and my home, both physically and internally and exploring what those spaces are like for me again. Um, in this new person that I am because I'm a completely different person than I was two years ago three years ago five years ago shit ten years ago 20 years ago not even the same but just one year ago um, people that know me and that haven't really dealt with me over the last couple year and then two years they people barely recognize me actually my youngest son I hadn't seen him in a couple years because through my divorce we had normal familial challenges and we didn't see each other for a couple years and so um, when I saw him again after um, after I had changed, he's like he kept looking at me. He's like, Mom, not only do you physically look totally different because I'd lost a lot of weight because I got off of all the medication and everything, um, but he's like, Mom, you're like different. He he just stared at me for like 30 minutes. He's like, Mom, I don't even barely recognize you. It's so weird. You're so different. So um, 
coming into this new different person, be it physically, spiritually, visually, energetically. For me, it's all of those things, but I love this. I love this person that I'm coming into. So I'm really opening my heart. I'm opening my heart because I found that in the past many years that I have shut my heart. Being an American, um, American educated woman who is trying to raise children and do what you're supposed to do, I have let my heart harden just because I was doing what I had to do in the world. And so my heart wasn't open for a long time because I was just doing what I had to do. So I now very intentionally am opening my heart this year so I can live from that space. And I, I genuinely encourage all of you because all of us living in this fight or flight space, we really do shut our hearts down and we don't listen to what it is our hearts are trying to say. I talked to, I was buying some new furniture. I talked to a 20 year old yesterday at the furniture store and uh, I was telling him kind of what I was doing for a living and he was like, oh, that's so weird, it's so cool. I wanna, I wanna come see you, it's really interesting. And so I asked him, you know, the general Andrea questions, like, how do you hear God? And he's like, huh? How do I hear God? What do you mean? So when we started to talk about spirit and how the universe speaks to him, through him, with him, how he feels it, and he's like, you know, I wasn't brought up with any religion. And he said he had a father that um, had a mental illness, and so it really scared him. And it really scared him genuinely to, for two reasons. First, to think that he's gonna get that, so he's fright, frightened for that to come. It's just like looking over his back for it to come. And then the other thing is he said that um, with not having a connection, like with, he doesn't even really know what God meant for him. Um, that um, he just, I don't know, he just didn't genuinely know what that meant. So with that, um, it's getting a little cold out here. The weather's been changing so much. With that, um, he was very intrigued, but he didn't know what to do because, you know, we think that spirit and the universe and religion are, are something that's, um, I don't know, we think religion. And I said, yeah, but um, I told him, no, God, like you actually have God in you. You have the God particle, like you are you are God also. So don't be afraid, you are God too. So you hear the universe, you talk to God, you talk to spirit, you also have that in you. So don't be afraid of that piece of which is in you that you are God. So we just got on the Andrea conversation and started to talk about the universe and intention and how do you hear and how do you into it and how does spirit feel. But it's the general 20 um, year old conversation I tend to have with a lot of young people who, don't have any knowingness of God and what that would look like or any faith or really hope. He says, no, I've had, I've seen some things and I just, I don't want to hear. I'm not interested. I'm, I'm not interested in my emotions. I'm, I'm, I'll just live my quiet life, like my boring life. I'm good with that. So intentionally guys, I know I went off on a rant, but intentionally I'm seeing that especially the young ones are shutting their emotions off. So y'all intentionally let's live from our hearts. Let's do that. Let's make a commitment to ourselves this year, all of us. Okay. Let's do this together. Let's just live from our hearts. Let's live from our spirits. Let's hear what that is. It's so sad. So many people are shutting it off and then we, sh we shut each other off and we put lines in the sand and we, we act like you're on this side and I'm on that side. It's really sad, but you guys, let's just open our hearts. If each one of us decides to open our hearts and live from that space, imagine how beautiful that might look. All of us. So intentionally speaking, let's live from our hearts this year. Let 2020 be the year of change where we break barriers, we break chains, we release ourselves from all the old shit, all the old paradigms, all the things that we've been through. You guys, let's release ourselves. Let's give ourselves the opportunity to break through the illusions of bullshit and all the patterns that we grew up with and the unknowingness of all of us and all the people around us. Let's just drop it. Forgiveness, happiness, intention, living from our heart, no more illness full on acceptance of our responsibility in this game and our willingness and participation to work with spirit, to see who it is, to see what it is that we're supposed to be seeing in this wild world as we've got these blinders on and more distractions than we need to. So I'm very excited coming into 2020. It feels like um, I have just the world at my fingertips. Actually, I do. I do. Every day is a, a miracle for me every day. I have so many miracles. Like, can you not see the energy beaming off of me? My life just feels so good. So intentionally, y'all, 
let's live from our heart, okay? Let's open our heart and let's live from that space. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Pass this on to somebody you know who could use a good word about going into 2020 with a good intentional living and opening our heart because we've been closed off long enough. Please head to my website at drealove.com. You can check out my blog, my vlog, my podcast, and I have so many resources and so many learning products on how to get well. Please make sure and check out all the sections. You will be there for a while. Lots and lots of resources to help us get well, and you guys can make appointments for coaching and readings as well. In and with love, it's your girl, Drea Love.